Greetings, greetings, greetings. Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. This is Brother West coming back to you again. And I, I, I want to do some more prophesying to you. I want to speak some more into you, into more, and some more into your life. As we know, this is a month of new beginning because number eight is a number of new beginning because we know that uh, God created man on the sixth day and on the seventh day rest, but on that next day follow a new beginning. And I want to speak to you and speak into your spirit uh, in that vein of a new beginning. And what is a new beginning? The Bible says, the Bible says in Isaiah 43 uh, and 20, God said, behold, I will do a new thing. And a new beginning is a new thing. The Bible says that if any man be in Christ Jesus, all old things have passed away and behold, all things has become new. Newness. God is sending newness into your life. God is sending newness as a river, as the newness of a river, as the river that washes, as the river that refreshes, as the river that revives, as the river that suscitates, as the river uh, that opens up, that the river uh, that renews, at the renewal, at the river uh, that touches. Also, God, also, also the number eight also is a, a number of uh, circumcision. It's a number of cutting away uh, in the Bible, in the Bible, when the when the 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 children of Israel come out of Egypt and they were in the wilderness. And when they did have kids in that wilderness, uh, after those boys were born, uh, the Bible says that they waited eight days before they would circumcise them. And this, our circumcision is a cutting away of the dead skin that the new skin might live. And that's a circumcision. That's a natural circumcision. What God is doing in your life, God is creating and God is uh, causing a spiritual circumcision of your heart. And what God is doing, God is taking that stony heart out and putting into you a heart of flesh and you shall live. God is healing a new thing is also healing. There are many of you that have been holding on to things. You've been holding on to hurts. You've been holding on to people who hurt you. You've been holding on to people who've done things and done things to your own. But today, today, in this particular month, God is saying, release it. And as you release it, as you release it, God will cause a river to come. The Bible also said, God says that in the wilderness, God said he will make a way. In that place where you, you feel like you don't know your way. In that place where you feel like you feel like you're walking, you're walking and walking and you don't know uh, uh, what is going to, what is going to come, what are you going to, where it is leading you to. And in this particular wilderness, there's troubles all around. Things are trouble, trouble. Things are not right in your life. Things are not right around you. It feels like there's pressure all around. There feels like there's atmosphere, people at your job, people all around. It seems like everybody's against you. It feels like you got pain in your body. It feels like you wake up there's another situation that you're facing. Uh, it seems like your, your spouse, your, your, in your house, there's disagreement. In your house, there's contention. Your kids are not listening. Uh, your bills are not listening. No one is listening to you. It feels like you're in a wilderness. It feels like you're in a place where there's evil around you and the wickedness around you and you wonder will it, when it's going to end, when it's going to be over. In that particular place, God said that he's going to cause a way. That way is his word. That way is his direction. The Bible says, the Bible says there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end of that way is the way of destruction. But if you trust in God and believe in him with your whole heart and acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your path because the Bible says broad is the way that leads to destruction and many be that, that find it, but few is the straight way that leads to life. And so God, God is going to cause a way to come. God's going to cause a way uh, access. God's going to cause a way of escape. God's going to cause a way of direction. God's going to cause a way of light. God's going to cause things to work. God's going to cause when it things when it seems like things are impossible. God is going to take the I am off of the impossible and he's going to make it possible. What seemed impossible with man, God's going to make it happen. There's some of you that's listening to me. You're in a valley of decision. You're in that wilderness again. But even David said, in the presence of my enemies, God has prepared a table before me. 
and in your wilderness place, in that place where things it seems like is crumbling around you, it feels like you're in an elevator, in this particular proverbial elevator, it feels like troubles and the elevator is closing in and everything is closing in and it feels like the elevator has been pushed down and it feels like you're spiraling out and it feels like you're going down and it feels like troubles uh, is taking you down for the last count, it feels like it's over, it feels like troubles will overtake you this time but God will provide a way of escape, the Bible says he knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation but also God says that God will not allow anything to come upon you that you're not able to bear but he will provide a way of escape, God is going to cause your escape and your escape is in him, the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a high tower and they that run therein is safe and secure, God is calling you up and calling you out, this is your new beginning, that's a cutting away, God is cutting away pain, God is cutting away uh, the enemy, God is cutting away wickedness, God is cutting away troubles, God is cutting away and God is calling you up higher, but also the Bible says in your desert place, at that place where you feel like it's dry, you're dry in everything that you do, it's dry, you're dry in your relationship with God, you're dry and it feels like, you feels like you're about to faint for the last time, it feels like you're about to fall out for the last time, it feels like you're about to throw in the tower, but at that place, at that desert place, at that dry place, just like that dry place, at that place of Horab, where Elijah ran because he thought he was the only one, and he wanted to die, he was telling God all about it, but the Bible said God showed up, and see, God is going to send you a river in your dry place, where you're dry, and you, you feel you're thirsty, and you feel like you're about to fall out, you feel like you're about to die over, but the Bible said that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, and you shall bound up as wings of evil, or as eagles, not run, and not be weary, and walk, and not faint. God is causing newness to come out of you. God is causing a new a new thing. God is doing a new thing in you, and it's going to cause many around ears to tingle, and the tingle is the sound. The tingle is God doing a great thing. The tingle is God's power being performed. The tingle is God's word being out in the sound. It's vibrating into your house, vibrating into your relationship with him, vibrating into your heart, and that vibrate is going to cause an echo, and an echo is a sound, and a large sound, and God is saying to begin to celebrate what he's doing. Begin to celebrate your new beginning because you cross over of your obstacles. Some of you, you're crossing over what you've been facing, and God is calling you over that you might be blessed into your harvest. And God is saying to eat. And God has said glean. And God has said blessing shall be upon you. Blessing shall be in your storehouse. Blessing shall be in your body. Blessing shall be where you walk. Blessings. And when your enemy tries to come in at you and tries to uh, overtake you, God said he will scatter seven, day, seven ways in Jesus' name. Amen. New beginning.